So, as you guys know, we've been doing a lot of this dating advice and helping guys to truly connect at, at deeper levels with women that, that they choose. And one of the things that, one of the projects that I've been working on is the, what's known in the community as the October Man. And it, basically, that's a code word for training someone to do what you ask. That's the essence of it. So it's a very specific way, and it doesn't have to be about seduction. This, this can work incredibly well with any relationship. It could be a parent-kid uh, relationship, a brother-sister, any relationship. But obviously, this focus is going to be on seduction. So there are four elements that you will use within this process. And once you master those, you're going to rock your world. It's going to be a very, it's going to surprise you how quick it works, it's going to be very intense, and the connections and friendships that you generate are going to blow your mind. Some of the uh, lady friends that I have been able to meet and connect with just love um, the, the stuff that I do. So, um, the four, the four um, elements that we're going to need are well, let me, before I give you those, you have to get into a place of being totally relaxed. It's, it's, the key for this to work correctly is you have to be playful, relaxed, in a place where you don't need for this to work. The less you need for this to work, the better it's going to work. Does that make sense? So you're not going to be approaching someone and being totally needy about, well, you wouldn't want to talk to me, right? Because I've got this really cool. No, it's, hey, what's going on? If you're in, you're in. If you're not, it's no big deal, okay? So the four elements, once you're relaxed, once you, you've set up your energy to be in a good place, you want to know what, what state or what emotional connection, what identity you're going to give this woman uh, to enjoy with you. Okay, so is she going to be the stripper? Is she going to be a uh, nymphomaniac? Is she going to be a uh, school? Whatever. What are the things that, what is it that you would love to explore with, with somebody else? You have to know what that is. So you have, you, first you have to know what, what feelings, emotions you want to elicit in her, what, or identity you want to draw out from her. Or... Also, what body sensations you want to um, get from her. It's very easy to get a woman to get into her body simply by using words. So that's the first part. The second one is once you're talking with her, you, you bring the idea out and you turn the idea into a symbol. Into a symbol that she gives you. Because when they give you the idea, it's more powerful than when you insert it in them. That comes later, but it's a different story. <laughs> um, then you're going to manage this symbol. You're going to take this symbol and, and, and shift it all through her modalities, visual, rhetoric, and aesthetic. You're going to be able to um, use her world to propel her to get to you. And that's where you want to get to. That's, that's the idea. And um, the, final, the final phase is this symbol becomes linked to you. So you want that girl, whenever she thinks of that symbol, she always thinks of you like the Superman. When, when, you, when you guys think of that S, that's, you think of this guy named Superman, right? You, you see the S right there. Advertising. <clears throat> Advertising. But in a very, it's, it's, everywhere. it's anchoring. It's yeah. anchoring. Exactly. It's a very specific way of advertising. From from now on, when you, if you do this correctly and you cor do it right in her, forevermore. If the symbol is, I don't know, uh, a rose, which is very often a, a symbolic um, idea that they have, you connect a rose to you, forevermore. When she sees the rose, you'll think. Wow, there was this guy that truly, truly touched me. And, and this symbol becomes that. Okay? Any questions about this so far? Okay? Now, all this can be done in a matter of... I've done it as fast as three minutes. And it's, it's amazing. She becomes magnetized. She has no choice but to respond to what, what you're getting her to do. 
So, um, let me just kind of walk you through the way I would do it, and I'm just going to role play it as if somebody was was here, and then I'll I'll do the break in uh, the break in the stage. So, if if I'm going out, <clears throat> let's say that today I'm going out, and I want her to be uh, okay. I want to have her orgasm on command for me. Okay, that's a really cool trick to have explored. And they love feeling that, especially if it's a private thing, where you're you're making her have these strong feelings. There, her friends might be around, and her friends might see her flushing and you know getting all this excited, but they don't know that we have this little secret. We've created this little world, and the women they just love that they eat that up. So my my elicitation today is gonna be how she generates and intensifies her orgasms. Okay, so that's. That's my intent, that's what I'm gonna go do. So, um, I've had started a conversation, I'm talking to her. Um, you, you want to create something exciting and fun, push, pull, or you know, something along the lines where, where she's actually into you. And then you say, <clears throat> you know, one of the most exciting things about men and women is how we feel things differently, right? And of course she's gonna say, yes. And then you go, well, I've got an intuition about you. I bet you're a bad girl. I'll walk up to her and say, I have a premonition or something. Just create some kind of uh, interest in her so that she'll be open to me. Any girl will give you 30 seconds. I mean, 30 seconds you pretty much get on, on, the, on the house. If you're able to engage her and make her feel either interested, excited, or... Uh, at least wondering what you're coming up with, you'll get a little bit more time. But 30 seconds, you're pretty much guaranteed. So, you know, just, just go easy on yourself. You don't have to get a 20 minute deal out of the, every person, but the first 30 seconds are free. So, um, I'm looking to find, to, to generate um, orgasmic energy. So, I walk up to her and say, so, my premonition about you is, and then I'll stop. And I'll do something so that it makes her wonder what the heck I'm, I'm gonna ask about. What I'm, I'm asking her questions. I say, I have an intuition about you, and then I go to a different thread. So that I'm opening up what's called a loop. In hypnosis terms, I'm creating an unfinished thought in her, so that gives me some leeway as to where I wanna go. So I'll turn to her friend or whatever. And then I come back and say, my intuition is that your friends don't know how erotic you are. Or something along those lines that opens up the door. Now that's purely a test. If she goes, dude, we've been talking for two minutes and you're already talking about this, you know, it's not me. I either regroup and come back or if I'm, I'm, I'm getting the energy from her that she's not the kind of person that I want to be hanging out with, you know, it's like, hey, you know what? I was wrong. I apologize. Nice meeting you. Bye bye. And I'm out. <laughs> and and it's okay. And when when to master this, you gotta be playful. You gotta be just just hanging out and relaxing and, and doing it. And some of my hypnotist friends and I, what we do is we challenge each other to see how badly we can screw something up. <laughs> so there is you know that there is that the opposite uh, of of what normal expectation is to go in and try to to score. So. Uh, any questions you guys have, please feel free to ask. But from now on, I'm just going to expect that she's going to be okay with me. Okay. So, um, my intuition is that you're very erotic, more erotic than your friends believe. And as I'm doing that, I'm starting Kino. I'm, I'm doing some sort of touch, whether it's a very light hand touch and usually the, you know, the sweater thing where I'm not really touching her, but just doing Kino or maybe with the leg or something like that. That opens her up even more. At this point, my energy is completely relaxed, and I am thinking the thoughts that I want to have in a few hours. Does that make sense? I want to see her doing the things that I want to be experiencing with her. That's where my thoughts are. So I'm looking at her, and I'm, I'm doing this. She opens up. She says, well, you know, maybe. Why, what makes you think that? And I'll say, well, let me ask you this. Have you ever experienced 